G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Things are absolutely hectic in the markets right now. It seems like Bitcoin has kind of settled down a bit. Don't get me wrong, it's still up, but it was up around 34 and it's just seemed to be settling. And because it's kind of leveled off just a little bit, altcoins are going absolutely spooky. I mean, look at ETH gas prices. Everyone's trying to jump into all different altcoins at the moment, particularly on ETH. The BTC dominance, you can see, has dropped. So again, the money flows into Bitcoin. It then flows into your high, uh, high cap altcoins, Ethereum, Litecoin, and things like that. It then flows into your mid uh, cap altcoins and then into the low cap altcoins. And then it just all starts over again. That is the cycle and it's playing out right now. Look, I'm going to be honest, there's, you know, stories like I found this on an Australian news website and this was right up the top uh, of the... Bitcoin of the has surged past 40,000. So, yeah, there you go. Bitcoin soars past 40,000. It's 42,000 Australian dollars. Usually when we get a story like this, it's near the peak. Now, not the peak of the whole market, but just there's probably going to be, you know, based on previous experience anyway, there would normally be a correction not far from this. But look at the moment, I'm just not sure because there's another thing over here that says retail investors, investors are largely uninvolved. So this isn't even retail, which unfortunately is considered the dumb money. This is all smart money getting in at the moment. It's all institution driven. They're not going to start really cashing out and all the rest of it until the retail FOMO starts. So we go back to here, you know, it's 903 billion. We're almost at a trillion dollars. Like we go over here and we can look at the market cap. This is where it used to be. It was like 852 billion back in 2018. And now we're at 903 billion and rising. Look, a correction will come at some stage. There's absolutely no doubt about it but I'm just not sure when it's going to come at the moment. I don't think there's too many people outside of um, the miners that are really going to sell Bitcoin at the moment, at least not in volume. Uh, yeah, I thought it would happen at 35,000. We haven't quite hit 35,000. We got close and we've retraced again back down to sort of 33,000. And it looks like Bitcoin might level out and consolidate here for a while. Now, it could be wrong. Again, Monday morning's got to come uh, in the States when all the markets open back up and this could shoot up even higher. Or it could dump. Look, no one really knows. But at the moment, this is what they call institutional FOMO. The retail FOMO hasn't started. That's when it's going to go really, really crazy. You know, PayPal is only selling Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and I think it was Bitcoin Cash to their American investors yet. They haven't even opened it up to the rest of the world as far as I know. Grayscale's still buying, you know, more Bitcoin that is being mined. Well, between them, uh, PayPal, Cash App and all the rest of it. So that's why the price is starting to move. And I just get the feeling it's going to keep going for a while. But look, in saying that, that's probably why it will correct tomorrow. There'll be some massive dump. I really can't tell you. I just know from previous experience, when you're in a bull run and things are really heating up like this, there's generally a correction that comes. But this time is different. Last time it was all basically retail that was pushing up the price. And so they jump in and out very quickly. They're not generally thinking too long term. You know, they double, triple their money and then they're out. This is all institutions who are going to get in for the long haul. And a majority of these Bitcoins will never be seen again. So it just makes me think that we, this has still got some legs to go. But look, let's have a look. Um, you know, what's really moved? I mean, Bitcoin, you know, only 1.9%. And again, it's pulled back. It was up around 34000 something dollars. And we'll have a look on the charts. But look at this. Nano has smashed it. Look at these charts. They have just gone parabolic at the moment. That is generally around about a time when there's going to be a blow off top. Now, again, these are all altcoins. Bitcoin is settling off. And look, there's nothing to say that this is done. This could go for another few more days. Again, in the next few days, you could see your altcoins 10x. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. I don't want people to get too crazy, but this is what happens. Uh, these could go on an absolute run. This is, you know, 
this might not be quite alt season yet, although it definitely feels like it. So things could go really crazy and over you know, the period of a week to a month, you could see your coins 10x. And it's around about that time that maybe we might have, uh, you know, we're gonna have a double bubble that happened back in 2013, possibly. No one knows. So it has a peak, uh, has a big correction, and then it just goes on another run and has a second peak. Uh, again, no one really knows. It's all a guessing game at the moment, but look at this. 45% in 70 days, 70% in 7 days, 60% in 7 days, 50% in 7 days, 46% in 7 days. And look at these, just in 24 hours, they've gone up that much. This is this is crazy at the moment. So, you know, buyers beware. This could keep running and it could have a whole lot more legs on it or a big correction could be coming very soon. Uh, it's too hard to know. Uh, well, I won't say a massive correction because, again, I just think the institutional FOMO is just getting started. They're going to push this a whole lot higher and then the retail will come later. Again, retail investors are largely uninvolved at the moment. This is mainly institutions. And look, a lot of institutions aren't really going to get into Bitcoin until it's at least a trillion dollars, Bitcoin alone. So we've got to go back here. It's not until Bitcoin's uh, market cap reaches a trillion dollars that other businesses will uh, look to get in. This is just early ones, so this could push a whole lot higher. But again, just buyer be warned. We could be, you know, close to a sell-off at the moment. But I've been feeling that for a number of weeks now and it hasn't happened. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Crazy at the moment. Gas prices, oh my God. But you know, my portfolio has jumped up by I think about 30 or 40 percent uh, in the last week uh, it has gone up so that is absolutely sort of crazy uh, you know basically everything's gone up well not quite there are ones that haven't but you know three quarters to you know eight tenths of my portfolio have just gone up it's been crazy and pretty much anyone in the space right now would be having the same there are losers now again so we can go to the winners now look, there are some big losers. So empty set dollar, that's really been tanking. Sire coin, but again, uh, they've had these big massive pumps, but some just continue to go down. Zilliqa had the huge pump early on. Uh, Leo token, Monero, Quant Energy Web. So look, there are losers, but nothing too sort of crazy. Again, like empty set dollar, that really hurts. But if you've had a 38% pump in seven days and you get a 13% retracement, you're not too worried about that at all. You're still up basically nearly, you know, it's 20% plus that you're up uh, in that time. So, you know, corrections will come. And look, a, a really big correction may come uh, soon, but I'm, I'm just not sure. It's too hard to know. Now, look, we go over here. So DeFi Dynasty, Synthetics co-founder siblings reveal blockchain game project. So Kane Warwick, he's uh, actually Australian. He uh, is the co-founder of Synthetics Network. Well, his brothers have come up with a, it's like an NFT game that's going to tap into the DeFi system. So look, there's something over here. Where was it? Um, yeah, DeFi Genie is out and is set for growth in 2021. I'm really bullish on Synthetics. I'm really bullish on Aave. Uh, you know, Compound's probably going to do well. Celsius Network's going to do well. Uh, there's a number of sort of things out there that I believe are going to do well, but I definitely think synthetics is one. Now, again, not financial advice. This is my personal opinion only. But I think even now at these prices, over the sort of, you know, the, the mid to sort of long term, again, around about sort of August, September, I think you will see crazy gains. And look, it could even go beyond. I think the peak, uh, again, it generally comes around about December-ish, but, you know, it may come earlier and look, it may come later as well. So just at some stage, you know, from let's say June onwards, if you've been in for a while, start to take some profits. I'm not saying cash out everything, but start to take some profits. At least get your money back, whatever you invested. Uh, again, because the peak of the cycle, it has to be somewhere around about there. You know, uh, BitBoy's talking about, you know, late September, September 28th is what he said. 
you know, institutions will hear that stuff and so maybe they'll make it happen earlier. But then again, they're probably le- happy to just let it run as well. They don't, they'll have already been selling on the way up anyway. I'm sure they're selling bits and pieces here and there. Once they've doubled, tripled their money, uh, they will definitely slowly but surely start to sell off. Whether they'll just dump uh, is hard to say. I definitely think some of the big companies will see this as just a cash grab. They won't have the long-term vision. They'll have got into Bitcoin, again, double, triple their money, and they'll probably just sell everything. And that'll be part of, uh, you know, when we have a, a big pullback, but it'll likely keep growing after that. It's unlikely all the institutional players sort of sell at the same time. And they know that the institution, uh, institutional FOMO really is just part of it once the retail FOMO starts that will push it even higher and eventually uh, and I think I've got it here um, no I don't think it, I do I think I got rid of it but they're gonna push into uh, DeFi the big market players at some stage the big banks and all sorts of stuff they will go to DeFi so again Kane Warwick uh, let's see extremely excited that after years of pressure my two brothers are launching crypto NFT game uh, I don't even know how to say that. Illuvium, I don't know how to say it. But anyway, also as promised, I just finished that 1 million chain link market buy into Kane ETH via one ETH exchange. I'm going offline for two weeks. Now enjoy the start of 2021. So uh, well done, Kane. Uh, and he's got a uh, million dollars worth of chain link. So that probably tells you something uh, about chain link. Uh, maybe not a bad buy. Look, at the moment, everything's going crazy. Generally, my recommendation would be don't buy uh, when it's pumping, wait for a retracement. But I've been waiting for a retracement for a couple of weeks now, so it's hard to say if there will be one. But again, that's probably the indicator there that I've been waiting for a retracement for weeks. Uh, it's probably closer than that it is further away, but there's no guarantees. I, you know, From my own personal opinion, I can't tell you when the correction is coming. I know one will come at some stage, it always does, I just don't know when that's going to happen. Look, here, Ethereum co-founder reveals underrated Bitcoin and crypto crypto bull case amid massive price rally. Bitcoin has exploded since September, climbing from its long-time $10,000 per Bitcoin level to never uh, never before seen highs of almost $35,000. The Bitcoin price added over 300% through 2020. So that's 2020. We still got 2021 to go. A rally that included a, included a 50% crash in March. So that's what we need to remember. These things happen. There will be someone who will just decide to sell a lot of crypto, a lot of Bitcoin at some point. They're going to say, yep, this is my cash out point. Well, not com- Again, maybe not completely cash out, but there will be uh, people that, again, they don't believe in crypto long term and they're just going to double, triple their money, whatever it may be, and they will just sell. Simple as that. They won't hold on to anything. They'll want to buy in lower. The smart people will, you know, sell some, but always hold some. Uh, and again, I guess it depends. You know, dollar cost average, really good system. Uh, but again, you know, if you're going to get into the market, you don't want to wait until wait until it's at complete fever pitch. And it does feel a little bit like that right now. So just be careful. You know, if you got some money on the side, say you got a thousand bucks, invest five hundred now. And just wait a week or two and see what happens. Look, it could continue to go up and you might miss those gains. That's just how it is. But, you know, horrible if you got $1,000, you put it all in today and we have a 30% correction uh, tomorrow. You'll be absolutely livid with yourself. So DCA uh, is the best advice. Uh, Or wait till a really big correction comes uh, and then, you know, put some money in. Your choice, you need to make your own decisions. I don't provide financial advice. I just provide you, you know, my personal experience and what I've done. Now, I was lucky. I had money on the side right after that big crash and I just knew it was a good time to get in. So I went fairly heavy. I didn't put my life savings or anything into it. I didn't have that kind of money to put into it. But I put at least, you know, what I could afford to sort of lose in. So again, I was, I was lucky. I still had money on the side and I still DCA now. But I am sort of, at the moment, just holding some money on the side for if there is uh, a bigger correction to sort of come. All right, uh, where's the other one? So, again, this space just keeps growing and growing and growing. It's not simply the price of the coin. It's other things that are happening. So here, the Russian energy giant mining Bitcoin with virtually free energy. 
even they can see what's coming. Big uh, you know, energy providers, why wouldn't they be mining Bitcoin right now? They'd be absolutely crazy. If, they're, if they are energy producers, there's going to be you know, the availability to mine Bitcoin. You're selling that energy for a certain price. You could be making Bitcoin at the same time that's going up by tenfold. And there's a number of industries that have uh, blow off sort of excess energy that they have. They could be putting that towards mining Bitcoins. And look, a lot of them are heading that way. This is just one of those stories. I remember hearing something about the oil mining industry has excess power and all the rest of it. Uh, and they will likely be going into Bitcoin mining and all the rest of it as well. There'll be a number of industries out there where they have this excess power, power that's sort of created from what they're doing that just kind of goes off you know, into the ether or nowhere. Businesses will start to put that into Bitcoin mining and Ethereum mining and like all sorts of stuff. This is the future. This is the revolution. It has started. Uh, again, we could have a massive correction, a big 50% correction tomorrow, but it will not be the end. This is just the beginning. This space has a decade or two, if not more, maybe decades uh, of growth ahead of it. I truly believe that this is, again, the beginning of something that's going to be huge, absolutely massive. And anyone who is here right now is going to have great wealth in front of them. Now, again, that will sort of depend on how much you put in. You're not going to put $5 in and turn it into great wealth. But if you're doing that dollar cost averaging with whatever you can afford, look, if you've only got $5 a week that you can put in, DCA, $5 a week over 10 years, that will make a huge difference. It really will into the world's greatest asset, you know, Bitcoin. And again, not financial advice, just my personal opinion. Or look into Ethereum. Again, something else that's doing real good. You need to do your own research for those though. Please don't just take my word of it. Uh, don't take any crypto YouTuber's uh, word uh, just simply by itself. You need to, you know, get the information that is out there. Get it across a whole stack of YouTubers, but not just YouTubers. Uh, go to GitHub, uh, go to Telegram, go to Discord, you know, read uh, blogs that are on the internet and things like that. There's a ton of information out there, but be careful. There is tons of scams out there. Anyone who's saying, yep, send it to me and I'll, you know, do something with it, be very, very wary of them. All right, moving on. There is now 10 billion unsettled bets on Bitcoin's future price. So they ended December 31st, uh, the Bitcoin futures. Now they've all started again. So open interest on Bitcoin futures has hit 10 billion. It's highest ever, according to data from uh, uh, SKU Analytics. That means there's $10 billion worth of bets on the future price of Bitcoin. So basically they bet for you know how high they think it'll be at the end of the year. Uh, I don't like to bet. I like to invest, but $10 billion has now got into how high they think Bitcoin will go. Now, what we don't know is how high that they're all betting. Uh, again, they could be trying to really sort of short the market and say, I'll bet that it only goes to 50,000 and maybe they're a huge Bitcoin holder. Uh, and then they, again, try and short the market, you know, win the bet and then probably use leverage. I'm not saying that's what is happening or what will even happen. Excuse me but it could be something that could be done. Again, then again, they could be saying, look, I predict that it's going to 500,000. So they put their bet on uh, and you know they've already built this big position early and then uh, incrementally, they just buy more Bitcoin at much higher prices, but they don't care. They play their part in continuing to push it up and push it up and push it up and push it up. Uh, and push it up along with retail and other you know uh, institutional FOMO until it gets to the price that they want and then boom they sell all of it now look some of that Bitcoin they won't make bugger all money on but they've made the bet if the bet comes right they win there and they bought the bulk of their Bitcoin for a much lower price so overall they make you know millions billions trillions of dollars who knows but that's the kind of thing that's going on now Fear and Greed Index, it is at 94, it has been here for ages. Again, 94, yesterday, 93, last week, 92, last month, 93. It has been here for such a long time. <sighs> I keep thinking a correction's coming, I have a gut feeling a correction's coming, and it hasn't come. <sighs> I really have no idea. I can't tell you uh, when it's coming, 
But what I can tell you is it is coming at some stage, but this may just be the start of a really big move even further before it happens. So again, please, anyone who's watching, just be careful. Don't dump all your money in right now uh, for this to, you know, again, turn around and have a 40, 50% correction uh, in the next few days. That'll really hurt. DCA in. Uh, and again, yeah, just be just be wary. That's my personal advice to you, not financial advice. I'd hate to see people get completely wrecked. Uh, again, it's happened to me. I got in at the peak of 2017, and I've told this story before. I turned $800 into $4,200 in a matter of weeks. I thought this is never going to end, and I was going to make hundreds and thousands of millions of dollars. It turned around and went down to $340. Uh, in the matter of months. Again, I kept thinking, no, it'll fix itself up. I didn't take the profits, it'll fix itself up. And it didn't. Now in saying that, that $800 that I invested back then, I've never cashed out. It is now worth over 2,000 US dollars. So uh, yeah, simply by holding, uh, I've made money. And again, I invested a different, uh, different money uh, in March after the crash. So, you know, I've been fortunate there and now I've just got to, again, you know, have my plan for when I'm cashing out and how, how I'm cashing out. Not that I'm completely cashing out. Uh, I'm not going to sell too much of my Bitcoin. I'll possibly sell about half of my Ethereum or maybe a quarter of, of my Ethereum uh, and all my other altcoins. I'll probably sell anywhere from, you know, 50% 50, 50 to 75% of them because they just haven't been around long enough. They're not tried and tested. Uh, and again, I don't want to do what I did last time. You know, see all this, you know, value. Again, 800 into 4,200 in a matter of probably five or six weeks and then watch it turn into $350 a couple of months later. That really hurts. I won't make that mistake this time. All right, let me know down below. Do you think we are close to a reasonable correction it won't be i can't see a 40 or 50 percent correction happening i think we'd be struggling to get more than a 25 percent correction there's just too much buying pressure and that's if a correction is even remotely close so let me know do you think we're close to one or is this literally just the start of a really crazy alt season and maybe even bitcoin going further where coins will literally start to you know 5x and 10x and you know 100x over the next few weeks to months love to know your thoughts before i go if i could ask you a favor could you hit that like button down below could you hit the subscribe button and then when you hit subscribe look at that little bell and go to all you'll get notifications of me putting out my regular content it's pretty much daily i hardly ever miss a day and uh, comment down below uh, if there's something that you would like me to cover. If there's a coin you want me to have a look at. I've done a couple of deep sort of dives. I wouldn't say deep dives, but anyway, dives into coins. And I always want to do more, but it's about whether I've got the time uh, and what's happening. You know, the deep dives into the coins, they definitely take a while. Whereas, uh, and it, yeah, it's based around how much time I have, but I'd be happy to do that. All right. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Everyone should be on that gain train at the moment and how good is it and I'll see you next time.